Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, I may or may not have made more decisions that were stupid last night. Who really knows? But we've got a fun little video for you today, guys, because we have a lot of stuff going on in the account, and I just want to walk you guys through it. Uh, talk to you guys about the market, what's going to happen, just things like that. Enjoy the video. Uh, a thumbs up is really, really appreciated. And uh, just shout out to you guys, man. Shout out to you guys supporting the channel. I know that I really want to take a second to say, I know this promo is not for everybody. Even for me, like, it's it, it could be argued that it is for me, but it's a really expensive promo, and there's not much to go with it besides the expensive car prices. So just shout out to you guys, man, for watching. Shout out to you guys for following along and just always supporting my stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm here today to show you guys some more just dumb decisions that I have made overnight. But at the end of the day, guys, look, I've said this multiple times in the last week or two. I'm here to have some fun. And if I can use my knowledge to try to do that and make some ballsier plays, then that's fun for me. So we'll show you guys a couple of things that I did overnight. Um, some of it not the most intelligent. So I bought a Eusebio at 6.2. Uh, no, 6.15. So the tax up here is about 300k, and if you guys watched my stream yesterday, I stream on Twitch, link in the description. Um, this dude sold at 74 twice yesterday, and it's Eusebio, man. So I'm thinking I like it. He's 65 on Xbox, but right now, I mean, if you look at the graphs, he was 73 yesterday. Now a lot of these prime icon graphs are not accurate, but 6.2 to me was really good, and I got him somewhere around here. I don't know. I just got him around here and the tax is 300k so hopefully we can make a nice little profit there i'm trying to sell them at 7.1 so that would mean if we could get the sale there we're gonna make like 500k that's i don't know if it's gonna happen but that's the thing it's also fresh i also really want to try him is another thing but guys i have some bad news for you guys um we talked about the team of the years last night and for some reason i thought they were gonna go up overnight and i'm gonna show you guys well hold on <laughs> so kdb went from three to like 3.5 now he's 3.3. I bought two Contes at 2.88 because I looked at the overnights last night and I was like, yo, this dude has some high overnights. They were like 3.1. So I thought maybe they were going to go up overnight over 3.05. But it, in reality, even if this went to 3.05, I have to like be smarter. I have been smarter all year. I used to do this stuff with these cards and it just wasn't worth it. The tax up here is so high that I don't know why I even did that because the tax is 150k for a Golo Conte. Like what? What am I even doing? So I have two of these at 285 or something. I'm going to see if I can get out for like maybe 3 mil later. But I'll probably lose like 50 to 100k on both of those as well. It is what it is. Um, and then I did, guys, I did want to show you guys because I want to be honest. And I just want you guys to see the account. I had mentioned that yesterday I was going to buy Team of the Week, maybe 10 or 11 of them. Oh, I also bought Messi. Okay. I also bought Messi, guys. I bought him at 5.4. So I bought him at 5.4. Right now he is 5.6. No, he's 5'5", five, five, sadly. Here's the reason I bought him. Uh, as you guys can see, yesterday he trended all the way up to 6 mil. So I thought that might happen again today, and I would make like 200, 300K, but <laughs> it hasn't happened. So sad stuff, but hopefully the Eusebio can carry us to the promised land and make us the coins. So team of the week got dynamic images, right? Now, first of all, I want to say to EA, why the hell... Does it take six days to give players dynamic images? Like, who is giving the images for these players, and why does it take that long? That's besides the point. I told you guys I was going to pick up, like, ten of each. I kind of did. I probably went a little bit overboard on a couple of them. Uh, nothing that crazy, but uh, these Trezes were bought at 130 by the way, so that's some nice profit. Cannavaro was bought at 560 so Kane, I went in guys last night on Kane Aguero. I think those were the main two. I got a few Adamas at like 79, but I bought a ton of Canes at 150, 145. The reason I bought Kane, I thought Kane was going to rise regardless. Um, I bought like 10, like I told you guys yesterday. Uh, and the reason I bought him is because I think he has landmark stats. So he got the 80 pace and he's got the 95 shooting with the 98 finishing. So... I just think this card is undervalued. That's why I bought it. It's already at 170. So I'm going to try to take the profit on a few of them just before awards. Uh, I'm going to try to take the money on these canes. We'll see if we could sell them. We also went in on Aguero at 170. Now, I got lucky because I bought these Agueros before the image. Um, before the image update, I was buying these Agueros. So basically, I was about to go out to dinner. I picked up like on my phone, I picked up like 25 of Aguero and Kane combined. 
And what after what had happened after that was that I had seen the dynamic images got updated. So what had happened was like these cards started to go up so much in value. Like people were so this one is an example of one that I was still buying last night because guys, it's sad, but this game is an image game, right? So when cards get images, the stock slash price of their card is going to increase dra drastically. So I made the smart decision where when I had seen like these cards were getting image updates. I started buying more, man, and like the reason for that, guys, is that I just know that people go crazy for dynamic images. Now, I might have gotten screwed as well because we have to talk about this upcoming team of the week. Uh, because I think Jesus is in the team of the week. I think they're they're putting his little footmas card in team of the week. But uh, yeah, so that's why I did that, and I saw the images, and I said, like, this has to rise. So I got I ended up buying Ericsson's under seventy. I think I bought him at like sixty three. Now, this is another example of a card that I just bought 10 of because I thought it was too low. He was cheaper than his nominee last night. Uh, he's 73 at the moment. I don't know how much these are going to rise, though, guys, from the current price they're at because a lot of investors are buying these cards. Uh, two pages of Ericsson's, and then I bought, like, a Trent at 75. That's cheap. This card has been undervalued all week because he doesn't have an image. This Navri, I don't know why I bought this Navri. 65, though. He's, like, 75 at the moment, so we'll take the money there. Um, and then we, we ended up getting a bunch of Tony Martial's because I just felt like Tony Martial was really cheap too. I got to be careful with these Martial's because I know for a fact, I've seen it on Twitter, a lot of people have this card. So my thought process is, yes, the cards are undervalued still. I'm not convinced that these cards are going to go up tomorrow. Uh, Weekly Rewards is going to boom the market tomorrow, in my opinion. But am I convinced that all of these Team of the Week cards are going to go up at Rewards tomorrow? No, 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 no. I'm not convinced because last week the same thing happened, right? People had panic bought Team of the Week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and they were all looking to sell the cards on uh, on the big Thursday, right? On the big Thursday, they were all looking to sell them, and what had happened was, no, they, they didn't go up. Really, there was a couple cards that went up, maybe Nabry, uh, maybe Allen, but mo the majority of investors. What I've noticed this year, guys, is you want to sell to the investors. Um, you want to sell ahead of the curve, and even if cards do go up another K or two, this year has to be about efficiency, right? So why the hell would you not be efficient, right? If why would I would I wait for a 160 on Martial when I can take a 157? Obviously, I would take the 157. So I'm just giving you guys the update. I made some really crazy moves overnight. Uh, hopefully, the team of the week rise is gonna help offset the other dumb stuff I did because I've been doing some dumb stuff recently on this account, man. Ever since I did the flips with Mbappe and stuff and Messi, I haven't. I like I stopped. It's not that I stopped caring. I just Right, I, I just want to go like crazy now and stuff. Now, Adama, I bought some more at 78. You guys had watched my video and seen that I had bought some during lightning rounds at like 70 the other day. Adama, in my opinion, is still going to rise even though he has a lot of supply. Will he go over 100? I'm not so sure because an 83 rated inform over 100 is pretty impressive just because of the rating. But people were paying for this guy's scream card because he had a dynamic image. So I think it goes hand in hand the potential with this card of how much he could rise. Because I know for a fact that, yes, guys, like people were paying a lot of money because for a scream just because he had the image. Because people like to stare at their teams. And look, why would people not want their team to look pretty? That's that's the that, I think that's the question you have to ask yourself at the end of the day. It does make sense. As crazy as it is that like cards would be going up because of stupid things like dynamic images, it, it does make sense, guys. So as much as you guys want to call me crazy, I believe it makes sense. Um, although... It is still a little bit crazy. So the plan for today is that we hope that we get uh, a sailor, a sale on the Eusebio. Um, that would be a, a dream. If I could get that to sell today, that would be awesome. And then I am expecting the market to go up a lot tomorrow. Um, I would say that any meta goal today that drops during lighting rounds would be a really good look. Um, and then any card that's like out of packs that's got a special. What I've also been doing as well... Last night, I just started to stock my club with a few specials that I thought were low, uh, and that was just last night. So a few nominee cards, um, maybe a few maybe a few informs, nothing that crazy, only like 10 cards, but just starting to stock. And then what I also wanted to do, like this is something that I've noticed um, with like Team of the Weeks and stuff. So I want to try this out this week. What I've noticed is that when a card is rising out of packs, a lot of the time their other specials are rising with them because their other specials get like push down in value uh, because of the new card. So what I want to do as well, um, I want to stock like some of these cards in the club. So 
let's take a look. Like, for example, like Aguero's Team of the Year nominee, right? I'm sure this card has been pushed a ton down. It might be going up right now because his inform is up a ton. But I'm sure that his nominee card has been definitely going down a bunch. It's back up again, I think. Is it back up? Yeah, it's back up. So it was like 160 last night. So I think it's already rebounded. So, you know, just looking at little opportunities like that, maybe Conte's Team of the Year nominee card is low. I doubt it at this point because his inform is 410. But it's always possible, right? It's always possible that these cards are so low. Conte's nominee is 345. Um, and it rose like 20K, 50K overnight. So what, what I'm talking about right here, guys, is on weekends. A lot of the time, the other inform will start to rise with the higher card. Because as the higher one rises, this one stops getting panic sold. Or this, because this card, like the previous specials of these cards, have to keep going down if the top one is going down. But if the top one stops going down, these ones start going up. So that's something you guys can look at. Maybe a little bit of something you guys can look at in the future uh, to make coins or, or do something like that. Now, we have a new team of the week today, boys. And uh, let's go over this real quick. I'll be streaming today up most of the day, guys, if you want to come hang out. Um, but just to talk about it real quick, we've got Gabriel Jesus. Uh, we've got Rafael Varane, we've got Pepe, and that's about it. Now, if you're watching my video this morning and you have Pepe, sell the card. Um, sell Pepe, guys, before 1 p.m., I would sell it right now. If you guys have Pepe, um, I would sell right now. He's, out, he's, out, he's up so many coins, and I just don't see that card holding. I don't really see that card holding that value. So if you have the opportunity to sell Pepe this morning, I would do it. Um, and then let's take a look at a few of these guys, right? Let's take a look at Gomez because Gomez has some previous specials. I doubt that this is going to get panic sold. It could. Uh, it was what? 88, 88. Yesterday, that was a nice voice crack. 88. So we'll watch this today if that goes a little bit lower. And then Varane's a weird one because this team looks like going to get lightning rounds. So I'm just not sure how much these cards are going to drop. Uh, Varane at the moment is 260. You know, he was 280 yesterday. I, I don't know what. I mean, this card has a nice upgrade. I expect that new Varane to be at least 500. So we'll just kind of have to see how that levels out and, and what the price of uh, of the new Veron is before. I would say, I don't know if I'm going to do that whole like past. You guys know, if you've been watching me, I do a lot of that past stuff where I buy the past inform and, and it rebounds. Today, I'm not so sure about that because center back is a little bit of a different like scenario. Center backs are weird where center backs are always cheaper. So I'm not really sure how much this is going to rebound. He's got a 265. Uh, let's see what else he's got. So a lot of cards on the market at 265. A lot of 270s, which means he's going to keep getting under list undercut. I don't even think this card is going to be that buyable, though. I think the lowest it's... I would say maybe I would be interested if it goes down to like 220, 230. But I don't see it. At the moment, I'm not loving 250. I think, it, I think it's got to go lower before you consider uh, picking it up. You've also got overnights, which is important. you got to look at these guys. You have overnights right now at 260 and 270. So that means that somebody has just listed those and like cucked the price completely for the overnight. So just keep that in mind, guys, as you guys are investing and as you guys are trading, uh, that you do have some pretty high overnights there. So just just, just know that that's a thing. Um, and so, yeah, um, tomorrow's also going to be, you know, red player picks, all that kind of stuff. Um, we are going to have in the morning. We should have another upload tonight, guys. I think I'm going to have an upload tonight talking about the team of the year cards because I want to talk in specific with you guys. Just a little bit more about buy times, just things like that, because I know a lot of you guys are curious and wondering about those cards. So I think we're going to talk about those tonight a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I think for the weekend, guys, just so you guys know, we had finished on 20 wins. So we have a we have like 20 and three rewards. I finished 17 and 0, as I told you guys, on uh, on Sunday with this team. So it was a, it was the gameplay was horrible. I hope the gameplay gets better this weekend. What we're going to do this weekend, the plan is doing the 11 team of the year challenge where I'm going to do an 11 squad of team of the years, 10 games I'll play with them. And then uh, hopefully switch over to something else. I did buy Rio for 144, but now it's not even looking that good because of all the center backs coming out today. So, yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about that. I didn't even get a good deal on him. So now he's just kind of chilling in my club. But I did want to try Rio, so I guess that's okay. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Maldini was just on the market at 124, but he's not on the market anymore. It's going to be interesting to see, like, the prices today of, like, Delict and Van Dyke and stuff and see if they correct this type of market. Um, at all because like you have certain cards right now like Maldini that just why the hell is Maldini 4.2 mil right there's like some cards in the market that I just don't even understand so we'll see if that stuff corrects and, and all that good stuff guys thanks for watching my video this morning I appreciate all of you guys man and I'll see you guys uh very soon peace out